Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go once again back up to the Great White North. We're going to give a little bit of a history lesson, a little context, uh, and sh- and kind of color up the root of the Leonardo Rizzuto and Hell's Angels feud. Um, to the naked eye, it looks like this thing all kind of just broke out on the last handful of years. Um, we all know there was a long-time alliance between the Rizzuto mob and the Hell's Angels, uh, watch each other's back, did a lot of very, very uh, profitable, lucrative business together for 30, 40 years uh, until it went the other direction. But you can specifically trace Leonardo Rizzuto, who is the reputed mafia don of Montreal right now, uh, who is one of his father's successors. His dad, Vito Rizzuto, is the one who um, forged this alliance with the Hells Angels, uh, the guy that uh, the Hells Angels all revered. And then when he died about a decade ago, roughly, things started to fray and, and, and fall apart. Uh, Leonardo didn't take power until till 2016, but, you know, things were already headed in a, in a, in a bad direction there uh, with the Hells Angels and only got worse. But a lot of this can go all the way back to the 1990s and specifically an incident in a tavern in Montreal uh, in February of 1997, where Leonardo Rizzuto got into a fight with a prominent Hells Angel enforcer, a guy that was known as a hitman. He was very uh, feared, very capable kind of a knuckle dragger type, not somebody that had a lot of brains, a lot of brawn though, but his name was uh, Donnie uh, Bam Bam Magnuson. And Leonardo Rizzuto and Bam Bam Magnuson got into a a nasty fight uh, in the winter of 97 where Bam Bam Magnuson allegedly beat Leonardo Rizzuto to a pulp, uh, left him unconscious in a, a Montreal bar. This, you know, caused a lot of problems. And Vito Rizzuto at that time, the most powerful mob figure, uh, you know, maybe in the history of Canada at that time, he was at this apex of power. He he demanded retribution and reached out to uh, Mom Boucher, who was a leader of the Montreal Hells Angels faction at that point. And, you know, kind of to break it down into a nutshell, he got his retribution, but it didn't happen right away. And it was something that might have not really had anything to do with the Leonardo Rizzuto fight and had more to do with politics within the Hells Angels and, and Bam Bam Magnuson just being a, a, a bit of a, um, not a bit, to being a, a lot of a, a crazy wild cowboy that needed to be reined in. Um, but it's interesting to look at the timeline here. And from talking to some of my sources in Canada, it, this really colors up what Leonardo Rizzuto uh, feels and thinks about the Hells Angels. Uh, there's always been questions about him respecting them, it, they, they perceiving him snubbing uh, his nose at them, which was the opposite of what his dad did. His dad could uh, get at their level, get on their level, and uh, and and the big Hells Angel shot callers of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s didn't feel like Vito was judging them or or um looking down on them and and that's what a lot of the hell's angels have felt since leonardo rizzuto took power about eight years ago uh but this is all traces back to february 97 that bad blood uh i'm told it has never been extinguished and it really kind of foreshadowed uh his what he needed to have relations with them when he took over the family and where those relations uh, you know how those relations have evolved uh so bam bam magnuson was the right hand man and bodyguard and for a uh, top enforcer for a, a, a very powerful uh hell's angel from montreal in the 80s and 90s a guy named scott steiner uh was somebody that uh, originally was in uh kind of the inner sanctum and then started to kind of forge his own group within a group, his own kind of sub crew of the Hells Angels that he called the group of five uh, 
basically trying to take power away from Mom Boucher. Uh, and Bam Bam Magnuson was the guy that was doing a lot of the heavy lifting in, in that. Uh, he upset a lot of people a couple months before the Leonardo Rizzuto fight Bam Bam Magnuson did, where he killed a, uh, a, Winni a Winnipeg biker in a, uh, at a, some type of social function. The uh, Hells Angels were looking to, to scoop up some of Winnipeg and patch over some uh, clubs that uh, were going to help them in their in the great Quebec biker war at that time that was going on. And Magnuson lost his mind, kills a guy in a biker war or a biker fight. And that prevents good business from, from happening between uh, the group that they, that this biker came from. I think it was called Los Bravos. He was the president of that group that was looking to patch over and it never happened because of that. Uh, but by the end of 97, with a lot of pressure coming from the Rizzutos, Mom Boucher deciding that, uh, Bam Bam Magnuson and Scott Steiner were, uh, you know, uh, being subversive and uh, needed to be gotten rid of. They put a contract on these guys' heads. Uh, Steiner had bought kind of a famous mansion in Quebec uh, in 96, 97, was shooting porn videos there, uh, moving drugs, women, loan sharking, a lot of that, a lot of uh, really down and dirty criminal activity. Uh, and the last time Steiner and, and Bam Bam Magnuson were seen was leaving that mansion, going to a meeting with Mom Boucher. They never came home from alive. That was November 4th, 1997. Uh, their bodies were both found floating in the St. Lawrence River, uh, badly beaten, battered, and bound. Uh, I'm told that they were both killed with uh, hammers to the head. Um, they were found in the coming months and years. But that is where really the feud between Leonardo Rizzuto and the Hells Angels started back in the winter of 97 in a fight with Bam Bam Magnuson. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out.